I have a Google Pixel 5 here. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. First thing is when you're here, uh, hi there, go ahead down here and you want to go ahead and choose your language. I'm going to go with English here. I'm going to tap on start. Now it says here connect to a mobile network. Basically they want us to go ahead and insert our SIM card here. I'm going to do this at the end of the video. Okay, so for now we're just going to go ahead and skip this. Now searching for my Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is right here. Go ahead and put in your password. After you put in your password, go ahead and tap on connect. Obtaining, okay, now it's connected. Getting your phone ready. Okay, so from here, copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. Okay, if you want to proceed with that, go ahead and tap on next. But for me, I'm gonna do a fresh clean install. So I'm gonna click on don't copy here. From here, go ahead and put in your Gmail email address here, or you can do your phone number and then click on next, or you can skip this and do this later as well. I'm just gonna do this later. I'm gonna tap on skip right there. Google services here, use location, sure, allow scanning, okay. Send diagnostic, this is up to you as well, okay. I'm fine with all of these here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on accept. Then click on I accept again. Need a set a four digit pin or password. So let me go ahead and make one up now. After you put in your four digit password, click on next, and it's going to ask you to, to re enter it. Once you re enter it, go ahead and tap on confirm. Unlock with pixel imprint. Basically, it's a fingerprint. I would advise you can skip this and you can do it later or you can do it now. I'm going to do it now. I think it's pretty important to have a fingerprint on there. Password. So from here, what you want to do, the fingerprint sensor is on, the, um, on the, the button right here, okay? It's not on the front, okay? So what you want to do now is lift and touch. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this. As I'm doing this, you can see it's getting more of my fingerprints. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and tap on next here. So the fingerprint password is set up and now you can go ahead and review additional apps. You want to go ahead and include these or not include these. You can check or uncheck these. I'm going to go ahead and leave these all uh, checked for myself. Let me click on OK here. Now here you can go with the dark theme or the light, the, uh, light theme, but the dark theme saves a little bit more battery. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on next. I'll leave it at dark. Now this just tells you how to get to the home screen. You can just basically just swipe up from the bottom up. So go ahead and tap on next here and you can read through these okay it's basically showing you how to switch apps showing you how to go back this is showing how you can go back you can basically swipe from the right to the middle or left to the middle top on next you want to ask google assistant something you can go on the bottom here and you can swipe up click on next all set swipe up to get started so let's go ahead and swipe up here and now you can see that we are in now let's go ahead and insert the SIM card. Now I just took my SIM card out of my iPhone here. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert it into the uh, Google Pixel 5. Go ahead and look at the uh, SIM card tray is on the bottom left hand side. Okay. Now if you look in your box, you should have a SIM ejection tool right here. All right. If you don't have this, you can use a different full SIM, different uh, SIM ejection tool from a different phone. You can even use like a thin um, paper clip, even a bobby pin, even the back of a stud earring. As long as it's like small, as long as it's like thin, it'll work. Okay. Anyway. Let's go to the uh, Pixel 5 here. Here's the SIM card tray right here. Let's go ahead and poke the needle into there. And then what you want to do is give it a little pressure. Just push in a little bit until the lip like pops out here. And then go ahead and slide this out. Now, as you, as soon as you take it out, take it out just like this. And you can see the, uh, the pinhole will be here on the top. Okay, so we want to slide it back in like that. So go ahead and leave it just like this. Grab your uh, SIM card. And you can see like a diagonal slit on the bottom right hand side. So you need to place the SIM card exactly how it looks on here. Have the metal contacts up. That's the only way you can put it. And go ahead and pop it in there until you hear like a little pop that goes in. Now from here, it doesn't matter really if your phone is off or on. I'm just going to leave it on. And we're going to see what happens as soon as I put this in here for the first time. So I'm going to put this in like really slowly like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop it in here and give it one second. And hopefully it finds it. Right now it said no SIM card. Okay, there we go. So it says T-Mobile, which is my carrier here in the U.S. And we can all also see the uh, my, re my phone reception bar is right there as well. Now that the SIM card is in, let's go ahead and double check really quickly. Let's see if they turned on data roaming or not. 
So just go ahead directly into your settings. You can just swipe up in the middle of the screen like this. Settings app is right there. Let's tap on settings. And then from here, we want to tap on network and internet. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And then from here, we want to go to mobile network. So tap on that. Mine says T-Mobile there, as you can see. And you can go ahead and read through this. And you can see data roaming here. They turn mine on by default, okay? Uh, some of you guys may want to off. Some of you guys get charged after a certain amount of time roaming. I have unlimited, so I'm fine with keeping it on. And that's pretty much it. I'm ready to rock and roll. Any questions or issues, comment below. Good luck.